During the height of the flu season, doctors and scientists are asking people with confirmed influenza to come to the Lord Baltimore Hotel to infect others. It's part of a study to better understand exactly how flu is transmitted from person to person. Nobody has successfully observed influenza transmission under controlled conditions. It has never been done. And that is part of the big problem with understanding how flu is transmitted. Until we can observe transmission and see how it really happened in real time, we don't know for sure how it works. Experts have surmised that flu is spread by contact with the droplets made when people cough or sneeze. But the study will also try to determine if it can be spread by breathing contaminated air. There might be some contact component, yes, but there also might be the airborne component and we just need to think about it, um, you know, when we get more of the data as to whether or not we need to emphasize masking much more. Volunteers will spend up to two weeks in a closed off floor of the hotel, all expenses paid. It's going to be a specialized room in which these transmission studies are being performed. We're going to be measuring the air quality uh, in many different ways. Um, so it's going to be very fancy with a lot of specialized equipment to be able to measure all of this. And I think the most important part is that we have volunteers that are consenting to be part of this study. So there are going to be the healthy people that don't have influenza, and then there are going to be the people who we're going to find who have acute symptomatic influenza, and they're going to be consented and come into the unit. Matthew Tran is a healthy participant volunteering to become infected. I decided to participate in the study out of curiosity. Viruses can spread inside a building. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to just kind of take a look and experience whether, uh, how studies are being conducted. The results of the study could lead to better flu prevention methods. It's about maybe which mask we should wear, but also it's whether or not we need to engineer better ventilation uh, systems or think about air quality within buildings in a different way. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.